In this example, we are going to be finding the dimensions of two different cereal boxes, the area and the volume. So the first cereal box says the length is three times the width. So if the width is x, the length is three times that. So that's just three times x or three x. The area then has a formula. It's length times width. So length times width. So the length is 3x and the width is x. So this gives me an answer of 3x squared. So the volume is length times width times height. And they give me the height is x to the third. And I already know what length times width is because that was the area. So length times width here is 3x squared. And then I'm multiplying that by x to the third because that's our height. So I know 3x squared times x to the third is 3x to the fifth. I add the exponents because they have the same base. So for the next box, it says the length is two less than five times the width. So first of all, I'm gonna start with five times the width. So five times the width would be five times x or just five x, right? So I'm gonna write five x. And then we want two less than that. So two less than that would be subtracting two. So the area is length times width, so that's the length, which is 5x minus 2, putting it in parentheses because it has two terms, times the width, which is x, and I'm going to um, use distributive property to multiply this. So x times 5x is 5x squared, and x times negative 2 is negative 2x. All right, the uh, height here is x to the third. Sorry, that got erased. So I have to find the volume. So again, volume is length times width times height. So length times width, we already did that. It's right here, 5x squared minus 2x. And then I'm multiplying that by the height, which is x to the third. So I just need to distribute the x to the third to get my expanded form here. So 5x squared times x to the third is 5x to the fifth. And then x to the third times negative 2x is negative 2x to the fourth. So this would be my volume.